Like, uh, much like, uh, beloved, uh, beloved Yu Gi Oh character, uh, Seto Kaiba, it's, it's been a while, uh, I'm back. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Oh boy, um. So so yeah. Hi. Oh oh yeah. Uh, hello Banshee Strikes. Hello Thomas. Um, should say a couple first. Um, first of all. Um, I would like to personally thank the following people. Following, uh, thank you, to, uh, Banshee Strikes. If I had bones, a uh, very good very good username. Uh, Crow Lemon, Jade Sojourn, and System Sixteen. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, following. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's 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 been a while. Um. Um. Uh. Uh. I guess I guess I should. Should I keep should I keep vamping? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> it's 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 been so long. Um I'm not sure. Hi Star. Um I'm not uh I'm not I'm not sure how to how to uh uh how to start these things, how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh this bef well before the game gets here this 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 screen is awfully empty we can we can bring mimika back um <laughs> <laughs> there will eventually there will be something in the uh bottom right corner wink um but not today or anytime soon um, so, so Mimika can be there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, just, uh, I'm just kind of vamping and, and uh, and, and drinking water, um, <laughs> Um, uh, well, but before I begin this game, uh, uh, I guess, I, I know, I already talked it, about it already, but the reason I sort of took a, a hiatus for, his, for a little bit, uh, it was mostly because, uh, I felt bad, uh, both uh physically i did not know uh, what was wrong with my body um and also um uh uh i had some health issues um and also i i just had depression and bad thoughts that made it so that i didn't want to do this for like 2 years <laughs> um and then um and then uh uh I um and I just kinda got it in my head that like oh I need like 
something really big and like elaborate and like f fancy to to come back to, you know? Uh which is not true. <laughs> I'm just uh I'm j I'm just I'm I'm just you know, people talk about low effort posting. Right now I'm just low effort effort uh streaming. Uh I want to play video games, goddammit. So I'm a uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play video games. Uh, God damn it. Um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. I I I've 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 vamped enough. That was like six minutes. I can't do any more. I'm not good at talking. <laughs> um. So let's uh. Let me let me begin the video game here. The, the 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 video game can do the talking for me. <laughs> it's so hard. Play, playing video games is scary. Um uh So yeah, let's let us let us begin the great tale of Idol Hekendon. How does the music sound compared to me? If anybody would like to uh, weigh in about audio <laughs> before I start like reading, um, sounds good. It's not the audio is not music isn't too quiet or my voice isn't too loud or my voice is too quiet or the music is too loud uh and any anything like that uh <laughs> maybe the music should be louder game could maybe be a touch quieter but it's not too bad regardless well you know i can i can touch this game and make it a little quieter uh, I bumped it down from a, a hundred and seventy percent volume to a hundred and let's let's go let's go hundred and sixty. Uh, is that any better? Uh, because it will there there will probably be louder segments than like uh, this intro cutscene. It's that's perfect. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start the video game now. <clears throat> Tomiko, head of one of the most prominent financial conglomerates in Japan, was on her deathbed. She had to choose an heir from among her three daughters. The eldest daughter, a brilliant businesswoman who, despite her young age, managed dozens of companies. Shizuka. Oh, that's her. The second daughter, a genius scholar with numerous patents and doctorates to her name, Reika. And then, the youngest daughter, who... well, who was an immature girl with no special talents, Erika. <laughs> ah, my dears, I am not long for this world. I want you to give it your all for the next three months and increase your reputations in your fields. This, um... Oh god, it's capturing my cursor. It should not be doing that. Sorry. Um... What was I gonna say? Um... <laughs> this is, a. Uh, this is, um... A... This is Stardew Valley-esque. Except that she has a normal bed. <laughs> um, the heir to my fortune will be the most talented one among you. <laughs> In other words, this is a match between me and Reika. After all, Erika has no talent. <laughs> but of course, I never considered Erika a part of this challenge. <laughs> the heir of the Sionji fortune will be me! Meanwhile, our Erika. I'm not talented like my sisters. The only thing I'm good at is singing. That's it, Miss Erika. You're trying to move the world with your songs. You shall become a super idol. 
with the world of my songs. A super idol? Oh. Oh god, she's doing some sort of flower attack. God, I should I should be quiet for this intro because it's great. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk over the music, but I love that the two backgrounds of this intro are a fire pit and space. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not your boss. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> So, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this is hit video game, Idol Hikenden, released exclusively in Japan, uh, for the, uh, family computer, also known as the Famicom. <laughs> Two genders, are you fire planet or astronaut in unknown sector? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry. Yeah, so, so this uh, released exclusively in Japan on the Famicom, but in 2018 it got uh, this translation that I am playing now, and then in, I think, 2020? Um, excuse me. Um, uh, excuse me again. Um, there was a, um, there was another translation, which, uh, very interestingly enough, uh, aimed to, like, translate it as if it was brought out to the west, if, as, as if it was localized, like, during the time it was released. <laughs> so, uh, so it, it would be like, so... It, it, it would have sounded like a, a US like localization that tried to hide Japan as much as possible because <laughs> that's how they did it back then it was, it's it's interesting I'm not playing with that with that translation I'm playing with the with the 2018 version and uh, thank thank you Thomas uh, I, I appreciate that. Oh shit hi Luna. It's, it's it's been a while. Uh, you just you just missed missed me giving uh, the big a, a big spiel about uh, about this game, which I'm now going to start. Idol Kenton, Act One, Birth of an Idol. Great. All right, baby, here it is. <laughs> okay, I hope you have fun with your friends, Luna. Uh. Aw, oh, thank- thank you, that's- 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 that's very nice. Uh... This is a... The, 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 this is a, a Famicom Adventure Games, baby. Let's look in the vicinity. Mio is here, with an old woman. I love- I love their apple painting. I love- I love how... Uh... Uh, what what's what's the word? It it it's so sophisticated against the beige and black dotted wallpaper. Uh, let's look at Miho. She's Miho, Erika's nanny. Okay. Uh, can we talk to her? 
This is Master Ichiro Shinjutsu, a veritable walking encyclopedia of the world of show business and an expert on the idol scene. Oh, oh god. He looks like a vampire? <laughs> he just appeared by oh, Okay. Why are you wearing <laughs> Okay, it's not just me. He bears a certain resemblance to Dracula. <laughs> Hello, sir. Aha! Those eyes! You are a rare gem indeed! <laughs> he is He is a little Manfred von Karma-esque. You definitely have the qualities to become an idol star. I'm a fortune teller. According to my predictions this year, Japan will see the birth of the greatest idol in all of history. And that idol shall be you. But for your true talent to bloom, you must first gather seven comrades. Counting me, that makes it eight people. <laughs> I love... <laughs> Look at this sprite of Erica. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> oh. oh my god, sorry. I'll try not to like... I laugh like that a lot. I'll try not to do it. <clears throat> uh, does Shinjitsu say anything different? Okay, yes he does. One of them is my granddaughter, Hoshimi. With that said, sh oh, sorry. That said, Shinjitsu calls a girl to his side. I'm oh my god, look at this girl! <laughs> oh my god, this girl rules! If I may speak freely, I shall use my foresight to find the remaining six individuals. Rest is up to you, adios! <laughs> and with that, Shinjitsu leaves with Mio. <laughs> Great. Hi, Naomi. Uh, is, does... Okay. There's nobody else but you. Okay. Is there anything we can take? There's nothing to pick up here. Do we have anything? We have nothing to use. There's Erika. Th these, are, these are our abilities. We can sing, dance, smile, and act dumb. <laughs> uh... Got some friends. Hi, Hoshimi. So, what do we do now? I believe we will find a hint in the highest part of the city. The highest building I know is the Zanshine building. And so the two of them headed for the Zanshine building. Oh, I didn't think that would, um, uh, advance us. <laughs> Known girl tech. <laughs> this is normal for girls. All women can do this. Uh, Zanshine's top floor. If I may speak freely, I perceive a powerful aura in here. Let's have a look! Erika tried to make her way in, but she was stopped by a guard. Please wait, mademoiselle. You cannot enter Ent oh, sorry. It's it's a shitty French accent. I should I should try. <clears throat> I Oh god. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> I can't do- I can't do a shitty, uh... Uh... I can't- I can't- Uh... I can't do a shitty French accent. If I was playing, I'd be using act dumb with literally everything as if it was the lick command. <laughs> I'm- in the Sierra point and click. <laughs> Obsessed with the side that says Cyber Gong Show. Yeah, the Cyber Gong Show. I can't. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. 
I'm not strong enough to do a shitty French accent. Excuse me. Oh, it, please wait. I can't. I can't. <laughs> please wait, mademoiselle. Hi, Esther. <laughs> please wait, mademoiselle. You cannot enter without a etiquette. This show has been produced by Mademoiselle Yajio Chabateke, Japan's number one producer. No me enter without a ticket. Is that is that anything? Is that anything? Or did I just make a fool of myself? <laughs> oh god, sorry. I... Well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I forgot to mention it. I have it in my, uh, in my about. Um, but just, just to be sure. Um, um, I, um, uh, I, I have a very benign, I'm fine, please don't be concerned. I have an incredibly benign condition that makes it so that I cough a lot. And the coughing sounds kind of painful. I'll try and mute myself when I cough to the best of my abilities, but I still might miss some. I'm fine. Please, please don't be worried. You did make a fool of yourself, but as a point of being a streamer, I think that's that's true. Let's 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 move on. Let's look at the vicinity. This is Anshine's top floor. There seems to be some kind of event going on. The Cyber Gong Show with lights and sound? Interesting. I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh. Can we take anything? Nothing to pick up. Nothing to use. So let's talk to the guard. Okay, he's quiet. Uh. Oof. We can go to the hall. Uh. Okay, he's just gonna say the same thing again. Let's see. Uh, will our- will our play dumb- <laughs> Will our play dumb command come to save us? I, uh, I thought- I thought- I thought Cloud would have been the funniest pseudonym to go with, uh, because I've never played Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why are you acting dumb? Okay. Dang. Playing dumb does us nothing. Can we smile? Will smiling get us out of this situation? <laughs> Nobody's going to be impressed by your smile here. That's so mean. Look at her. Look at her. Uh, can I dance? <laughs> Please don't dance for no reason. <laughs> Please don't start singing for no good reason. Alright. I was just trying my best. Hoshimi, wh what do you think? If I may speak freely, I believe the way to enter is to move their hearts with the song. That's what I tried doing. What's... I'm not, I, oh god, I did not think that I would have to sing. <laughs> this, this, is, this is the French thing all over again. <laughs> What's inside? What's inside? I really, really, really want to see. No good, huh? If I may speak freely, I believe you still lack experience. Literally 1989 that we're not allowed to dance. <laughs> there is nothing we can do for now. Let's return to the lobby downstairs. I love that lady's face. <laughs> uh, this is the lobby. There's a kiosk nearby. Let's look. Okay. 
There, there, there is an ashtray here. Can we take the ashtray? It's one of those marble ashtrays. It's way too heavy to lug around. Let's just leave it there. Okay. Uh, I, I love this lady's face, but I also love the Illuminati pyramid in the corner there. This is, uh, this, this is playing into some conspiracy theories about the entertainment industry, I see. Uh, we Let's talk to this lady here. Hi, I'm Erica! <laughs> that face is gonna kill me every time. <laughs> what would you say is the highest place in the city, excluding Zanshine? This is the famous Zanshine Breeze. It's very popular. That isn't what I asked, lady. That's not- that's not- That's not what I asked. Uh... Fushimi? If I may speak freely, I believe you won't get a straight answer until you buy something. Okay. Uh... How do I buy something? Uh... I've got no, like, dollars to use. The old lady smiles back. <laughs> uh... I gotta try it at every screen. <laughs> Singing won't do anything. Dancing won't do anything. This is the lobby, there's a kiosk nearby. Do we have to move to the kiosk? No. <laughs> this is quite the adventure game if your free speaking friend just tells you literally everything. You know, it's 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 the early game. It's probably like I I don't know. Uh oh, here we go, candy. I'll take this! Thanks a bunch. Eric has obtained candy. This, this, this is just more so how these kinds of adventure games are, from what I understand. I have this. This is a genre I definitely want to play more and know more about, um, because obviously they would go on to in, uh, to influence visual novels and stuff quite uh, quite a lot. Um, uh, but I, I I I am not as familiar with like the NES. Um, Famicom adventure games, or, ju or just Japanese adventure games in general, outside of, like, Ace Attorney. Um, th that's- that's why I'm playing this, because I want to- I want to expand my gaming horizon. This is, that's just kind of a mission statement for the stream in general. I want to- I want to expand my gaming horizon. Okay, now that we've- Can we use the candy? That would be a waste. Let's keep it for later. All right. The Famicom adventure game scene is indefinite, is infinitely charming, but also rough around the edges. They were trying stuff out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hi, lady. Uh, this weekly newspaper just came out. Okay. All right. I see how it's gonna be. <laughs> I'll buy this too. Thanks a bunch. Erica has obtained the weekly newspaper. Can we read it? Can we read the newspaper? Arg! <laughs> ah, so many letters! My eyes are spinning! <laughs> you wanna read it, Hoshimi? <laughs> Erika handed the newspaper to Hoshimi. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um... Okay. Now will you help us? Old lady looks busy. What? What? Okay, Hoshimi. Uh, this article mentions the highest priced cafe in the city. Uh, hello, uh, sir? The most expensive shop in the city. The Bloody Fool. Written by Kawashi Yakeni. Uh, oh, 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 I see. That must be, like, the journalist. I see. I believe there may be a connection. Okay, I was confused. I thought another guy flash-stepped into the scene. 
<laughs> that guy was cool. Um. Well, if uh, the old lady isn't gonna talk to us, let's let's go. Let's go to that that cafe. I guess that also counts as highest, huh? All right, let's go there. Um, what was Starcorp was that uh, she got overwhelmed by ha by all the letters on the newspaper. <laughs> this is the quote bloody fool. Welcome. Uh, there's the owner and a single patron. Uh, let's let's talk to the owner. Two coffees, please. Two coffees, coming right up. Here we go. That was fast. Of course it was. I'm very efficient. Uh, can we take the coffee? It's too hot to drink. Oh, uh, we gotta let it cool. Can we... Perhaps... Perhaps our wonderful smile will... Will I... Uh... Pull it down. S singing is kind of like blowing on the coffee. Uh, I use the candy on the coffee? Okay. <laughs> Ayushimi. Uh, forgive me, but nothing specific comes to mind. <laughs> Remember, Marissa, never ever let it cool! This, this, I, this, this man is not a pigeon. I can do what I want. He has not earned my respect the way Brewster has. Hi, are you Kawashi Yakeni? You know about me? That's so nice. I see. You came here after reading my article. What would you say is the highest place in the city, excluding Zanshine? Well, anything would feel pretty high from Giant Baba's perspective. Otherwise, I'd say it's the confectionery store Tomashikaya in Ginza 3 Chome. The land prices there are the highest in Japan. This, yeah, this dude's got a very interesting hairstyle. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I thought I thought I thought you were making an Animal Crossing joke. I also don't respect the guy from Polar Express. Now can I take the coffee? Ew, so bitter. I don't like coffee. Why did you come here if you do not appreciate the refined taste of coffee? Leave it once. <laughs> The owner is mad. Perhaps... Perhaps now, if we act dumb... Oh. Perhaps now if we... Smile. Okay. It appears we have anchored the owner. <laughs> I suggest heading to Tomashikaya. Alright. Goodbye. Okay, let's go to Tomashikaya. Thank you, Kawashi. Bye-bye! Erika and Hoshimi headed to Ginza. Uh, this is Tamashi Kaya. I, lo I love this music. Listen to this. That, that rules. <laughs> if I may speak freely, I suggest we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Now, now, speaking of music, now that we're like actually in the game, is uh, is the audio still good, or uh, should I uh, should I do other things to it? I'm just sipping on my water. Much much like our friend Mimika here, I am also taking a drink. Hmm. A little quiet. Perfectly audible. I can I can I can make it more perfect. 
I... I'm, I'm taking what you say, Naomi, hyper-literally. I'm moving it from 164... Uh, from 160 to 164. Boom. Okay, let's continue. It's an impressive store, but there's hardly any customers. Uh... Hi, America! Are there any talented girls about my age around? Hmm? Who are you? Uh, she just- she just introduced herself. The shopkeeper looks at you carefully. Uh... Nothing to pick up here. Uh, would you like some candy? What's up with that candy? Ours are way more refined and tastier as well. Th thanks. Uh... What if I- what if I smile? SMILE! <laughs> the shopkeeper relaxes. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Ari Yoyoi is only 17, but she's a stock trading genius. She's already fully paid the shop's inheritance tax. And she's only 17? Wow, I wonder if she's willing to join me. Yeah, yeah, Erika is very much a hi, girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh Okay, oh she's just gonna say the same thing again. Uh Can I like Can I dance or sing? Tell you that I'm like wanting her to join me? One day that'll work. <laughs> uh hmm. The candy again? This girl walked in and said, Hey, would your girl want to join my emo band? Oh, if, they, if this was about making an emo band instead of, like, a... Instead of an idol group, that would be perfect. Um... Oh, there it is. I'm back! Yoyoi has come back. Hello, ma'am. Erika tells Yoyoi about her situation in detail. I'll say this much, I have to keep up the good name of Tamashikaya. I just don't have any time to waste on your... thing. What if I smile at you? Oh, What if I bribe you with candy? Um... What if I... What? What if I take pleasant? Wow, Yuyoi's awesome, so clever, total respect! I'll say this much, I have to keep up the good name of Tomashikaya. I just don't have any time to waste on your thing. Hmm. Hmm. What if I sing? We're gonna make, we're gonna make tons of money! Wow, what a voice! <laughs> The world of show business is very lucrative. I wouldn't mind the challenge. Yeah, that's right! Let's make tons of money! Very well. I'm going to bet on your horse. <laughs> people love saying- people love talking about horses. Awesome! I think I'm gonna buy some candy to celebrate! In that case, I recommend Tamashikaya's secret dish, the Divine Manju said that the taste is so strong you'll even forget who you are. C cool! <laughs> I'll take this! Erika has obtained a manju. <laughs> uh... I, I, can, I can now talk to Yoyoi. Do great things together. Can I talk to the... Okay. Let's go to the lobby. We're going to look for more people to join us. Are you coming with us, Yayoi? Very well. Let's go. Oh, okay. So we're back at the Zanshine lobby. Uh... Uh... Anything new to look at? Kiosk nearby. There's an ashtray here. Look at the ashtray. In closer inspection, the ashtray is full of cigarette butts and ashes. This is so dirty! I just have to clean this up! Whoa. Oh, I don't like this guy. 
What a good girl. Let me give you a ticket to the planetarium as a reward. Oh, and careful with that ashtray. It's made of marble, so it'd really hurt if it fell on your foot. Yay! Thank you, sir! Erika has received a ticket. Cool. <laughs> Let's... Uh, check out the planetarium. Uh, can we talk to a lady? Okay. I guess- I guess we immediately move to the planetarium. Erika and her friends used the ticket and entered the planetarium. Ooh. Listen to this music. The display has begun. The ceiling is bejeweled with stars. It's almost like a real night sky. Wow, it's so beautiful! Uh, sir, you have to be quiet or you'll bother the others. Is there anything to take? We. Y you know what? You know what I just realized? Oh, oh god, I know what I did. I don't know what that does. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this NES emulator. You know what I should do? I should save. Because I don't know when we're saving. <laughs> or even if they're saving. But I also want to eat the manju. Okay. Uh, you're, you're like a smart girl. Uh, tell me about planets. So, uh, okay. <laughs> cool friend. <laughs> Being surrounded by stars increases the power of my foresight. We must find. Uh, okay. <laughs> we must find a nut. When you say nut, you mean the thing you crack open? <laughs> Oh, oh, sweet Erica. Like in the Nutcracker? Indeed, a nut. All right. Uh. Hmm. This this is true, I guess. Uh. Nothing to pick up here. We perhaps smile our way out of this situation. <laughs> mm. Is this the candy? Hmm. Go back to the lobby. Uh, was that just... Was that just so... Hashimi could tell us to find nut. True <laughs> going. <laughs> going to the planetarium to receive nut visions. <laughs> We've all been there. Do you know where I might buy some nuts? Well, I sell nut shells with fortune slips inside. That's a very odd way to say a fortune cookie. I'll take this! Thanks a bunch. I'll crack it open and take out the fortune slip. Ah, it's too tough! I can't open it! Well, you know, what we could do is we could- Oh. What's the- Oh. I thought, like- can't use it until you crack it open. I- I thought that, like, we would use the ashtray that they've said, like, multiple times was super duper heavy to crack open the nut, but it, apparently not. Uh... Could we dance on the nut? Could we sing to the nut? One, one day, one day, acting dumb will 
be useful. Too early to go somewhere else. But Hoshimi? I suggest talking to the people nearby. Can the lady help us? Do you have a nutcracker? Try going to the aqua- Oh shit! Alright, baby! Alright, it's time! <laughs> Try going to the aquarium. The aquarium? Alright, everybody. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's take it, let's take our two gal pals. <laughs> it's, it's time to take our two gal pals, uh, to the, to the, to the aquarium. <laughs> I, I presume what it is is that we're gonna give it to an otter. <laughs> and the otter is gonna crack it open. Again, very cool, yoy. <laughs> This is the aquarium. With the- with the mysterious aquarium music. <laughs> Do you have an aquarium? I- fuck. I fucked that up. Do you have a nutcracker? Go look at some fish, girl! Let's see, let's look at the vicinity. This this shore is the aquarium. It's the water tank for the feeding show, containing a sea otter. See? See? I've I've got future sight too. Uh and we talk to anything to take? Hmm. Do you have an aquarium? <laughs> Go look at some nuts, girl. <laughs> hmm. Okay, uh, perhaps I can give the nut, hmm, and to take, oh, here, look at the sea otter. A sea otter is cracking open, oh my god, look at this guy! Oh my god, look at this dude! Oh, that's great, <laughs> that's amazing. A sea otter is cracking open a seashell. Aw, it's so cute! Please, sir. Please, we can use the sea otter! Eureka! I'll have the otter crack that nut open! But how am I gonna tell the otter to do it? Perhaps by singing. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll try singing then. Music start! Oh, oh god, oh god, this is way too quick. Read this yourself. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> Girls truly do rock. The otter emerges from the water and takes the nut, but the otter wasn't unable to crack it. I was just giving it something even harder than the nut. That m marble ashtray is a good candidate. Okay. We gotta go to the lobby. Steal, uh, the ashtray. Take the ashtray. Did say that it's, it's quite heavy, but okay. Is the lady gonna get mad at us for taking our, the, the ashtray? Okay. Back to the aquarium. Excuse me. You give the ashtray to the otter, who finally manages to crack the nut open. However, both the nut fragments and the fortune slip sink to the bottom of the water tank. <laughs> oh no! My fortune slip! The otter can't help you now! <laughs> <laughs> oh 
So true. We've all been in this, uh, in this situation. But, I'm gonna just real quick, if you don't mind, just, uh, just to, just take a, just take a little squ- uh, just, just, just take a little share <laughs> screen cap of that. <laughs> Not even Otter can help you now! Uh... Let's call the lady from the Otter Feeding Show. Uh, hello, ma'am? Talk woman. Do I have to sing again? Erika's song grabs the attention of the people around. Hmm. 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 Moshimi, can you do anything? I doubt- I doubt you- Yuyoi has not been useful so far! <laughs> hmm... Will dancing get her attention? <laughs> hey miss! Step. Could you- Step. Please look! Step. Over here! Step. She seems to have noticed you're dancing. Uh, what do you need? Could you pick up my fortune slip? Uh... That's not, that's not my job. <laughs> I like this lady. Oh, can we perhaps bribe bribe you with some candy? <laughs> Come on, I'll give you candy. Okay then. <laughs> I love this lady. <laughs> Just oh, oh, fuck you. I I won't. Do shit for you. Oh, but cheap candy. I'll f oh, I'll do anything you say. <laughs> the lady fetches the fortune slip for you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Finally, we can use the fortune slip. It says you will find happiness if you become friends with a computer expert. I I I know about that. Computers have brought me nothing but pain. Hoshimi, what do you think? I believe this means we should add a hacker to our group. Oh boy. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait to find a fucking hacker girl. Hmm. Too late to move. One of my friends is a computer whiz. Where can I meet this friend of yours? There's a computer tournament between Japan, China, and India in a store called Hard. <laughs> in Akihabara. <laughs> She's probably there. Alright, folks. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's get hard. Let's go to hard. Okay, let's go to Akihabara. Uh. Holy shit. This, uh... Th this, this is a wonderful assortment of... 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 people. <laughs> you enter the store hard. There's a lot of people with weird heads. Okay. <laughs> Joy... George Wash- oh god, that guy is George Washington. <laughs> uh, let's- excuse me, where is the tournament being held? The tournament's in the basement, yeah! By the way, you're awesome, cute, yeah! Will you marry me? Yeah! Can I, like... Uh, can I kill this guy? Uh, what happened to the ashtray? <laughs> Apparently, Hard Off is a real store in Akihabara. Well, um, <laughs> just out of just out of uh, academic curiosity, what 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 sort of good does Hard Off in Akihabara sell? <laughs> I guess I can just go to the basement, yeah. 
This is this is Hard's basement. A man and a woman are sitting in front of each other. Oh, you recognize someone among the audience. It's Kawashi Yen Excuse me, it's Kawashi Yakeni, the cool the the columnist, sorry. The the text wrapping sometimes. It, it throws me off a little bit. Uh hey Kawashi. Hello again, Kawashi! Oh my, what a coincidence. By the way, did you know there are actually 13 items in a baker's dozen? Oh, th th thanks? <laughs> you know what? You know what? That might be a hint. That might be a hint. I'm writing that down. There is actually. There, there are actually 13 in a baker's dozen. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Fantastic Maxi. Um, I'm just, I'm just taking notes, you know? <laughs> Alright. What are you doing here? I heard about the computer tournament, so I came to check it out. What are they doing, exactly? It's a bit of a game. See the rings around their wrists? Those can't be opened without the right password. Whoever manages to remove the ring from their ring... Oh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Whoever manages to remove the ring from their wrist first wins. So it's like computer saw. Cool. <laughs> the lady is Misao Aoyama. And the man is Master Bakoichi. Bakoichi has used his connections to hide the password in a data bank inaccessible to common users. Unless you do something to help her, I don't think she's going to win. I don't really get it, but let's see what we can do. Uh. Friendly game of computer saw at the store hard. <laughs> Will this Maju help? Would singing help? Erica's song grabs the attention of the people around. Please don't dance for no reason. Uh, smiling won't help. Acting dumb won't help. Now, Hoshimi, cram the divine Maju in Master Bokoichi's mouth! Of course, you can count on me. Hoshimi crams the manju into Master Bokoichi's mouth. Overwhelmed by the taste, Master Bokoichi can hardly remember how to use the keyboard properly. Misao used the opportunity to break through his iron guard and find the password. She did it! Great. <laughs> it's... Let's just... <laughs> Let's, let's just let's just recap what we just did. Um, so there was a dude who um, so um, so there was a computer tournament to find the password to wristbands on each other's wrists, or maybe just Misao's wrists. Um. And then, um, and, and so then we fed him a candy that was so good that he lost all memories of his identity and could not type on the keyboard. <laughs> that let me sow hack into the computer mainframe and find the password. <laughs> I love how much this girl can do without any consequence. <laughs> she's she's a cute girl, and more importantly, she's the daughter of a rich lady. <laughs> if you're cute enough to do a little dance and a big smile, you can do anything. Exactly. <laughs> this, this is true for all girls. Uh. Oh my god, I love this girl. Holy shit. <laughs> Thanks. I wouldn't have made it out without your help. If there's anything I can do for you. Yeah, for just ask away. How about you join us? 
Erica ex oh sorry Erica explains the situation in detail even when like even when it's narration, the character up here's mouth moves, so... <laughs> That's why I'm having that, that confusion sometimes. Sounds right interesting to me! Count me in! Woohoo! Uh, great. Yo, your song's awesome, yeah! Uh, no. Get away. Don't worry about him. Uh... Let's talk to my cool friend Misao. So, what's it gonna be? Uh... She says the narration out loud. <laughs> uh... It's too early to go somewhere else. Store hard. So what am I supposed to be doing? I guess I can talk to Oshimi or Misao. Something came to mind. I believe we will find a hint in the highest part of the city. So, yeah, this is what we've been trying to go to! The highest building has to be the Zanshine building. Okay, we're back here. Yo, yo, I killed this man! <laughs> uh, a cyber gong show is open. Can we just, uh... God, I love her face! <laughs> Oh god, I gotta do French again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, mademoiselle, I must tell you, encore, that you may not enter without a ticket. Sorry. Uh, could we- we don't have anything to use. Could- could we sing? <laughs> Sacre bleu, I should really not let this pretty f f feel? Pierre and Trer, I must follow my orders. I'm so sorry. <laughs> B, okay. French do not pronounce any letters. <laughs> Just go. Hmm. But the Cyber Gong Show is open. Hmm. Perhaps if I act dumb. Hmm. Perhaps if I smile. Oh! Forgive me, orders! You may go in, s'il vous plaît! Yay! Great. <laughs> wow, it's the Cyber Gong Show! This is the Cyber Gong Show venue. There seems to be some kind of commotion. What's going on? There is a ma- oh, sorry. There- oh god, there is a man on stage with his body wrapped in dynamite! <laughs> uh... It's not possible to talk in this situation. Maybe we can't stop him by talking. But we can stop him. Through the power of song. Okay. <laughs> or maybe we can't stop him through talking. But maybe through the power of dance. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, Hoshimi, kill him. <laughs> no. Uh... Ch 
gonna do? I don't know! I... I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die here! Alright. Okay. <laughs> what? C content warning for suicide, I guess. <laughs> Why would you want to die here? I've always lived in obscurity. I want to go. I want to at least go out with a bang. Uh. Maybe now I can save him with the power of song. <laughs> I guess I'll have to sing. I'm. I'm not singing these actual singing parts. Sorry. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> this, is, this is a message to anyone who's feeling, you know, depressed, feeling bad about, about their lives. Just, uh, just, just go eat some cakes and candy. This song really gets me, but I can't stop now. I'm finished already. Uh. Oh God. Uh. M maybe I also need to dance. Oh god. Uh... Almost done it, Erica. Only need one more step. Do I- do I need to smile at him? Yeah! <laughs> Smiling solves all problems. Wow! My will to live has returned! The man is no longer trying to kill himself. Great! I'm glad... I'm glad we stopped the suicide, I guess. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, what did that accomplish? Oh shit, hello. A stout woman steps forward. She seems to be the person in charge of the show. Hello, hello, ma'am. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello, hello. Uh, let me let me do something real quick. Uh. <laughs> just uh, <laughs> just so it looks like me because looking at the game. I guess I would also have my will restored if a girl smiled at me. I would, uh... <laughs> I, would, I would have my will restored if, if this specific woman smiled at me. I must say, you have incredible talent. I'm impressed. Who might you be? I am Yachio Chaba Ch Chabatake. Excuse me if that's incorrect. The producer of this show. Oh, that's perfect! You see, we're looking for people to join us! Erica explained- oh, sorry. Erica explains the situation in detail. I see. Well, I can't simply ignore this kind of talent, can I? I will gladly join you as your advisor. Yay! Hi- oh, what? Huh? What? Huh? Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay. Oh god, I'm gonna cough again. Oh my god. Give me a second. I need to... I need to take another cough drop. 
this is so, so um a thing I've been worried about as, since my return to streaming is that I don't have good emotes. Not that the emotes that Morgan uh, drew for me way back when aren't bad. They're not. They're not bad. It's just that they're of a persona I don't have anymore. <laughs> um, and I just have a lot of open emote slots that I don't know what to do with. Uh, but you know, <laughs> this uh. <laughs> this would make a great emote. <laughs> oh shit, nice. Thank you, Esther. <laughs> I might, uh, I might keep this in mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, in a certain place in the city, Kawashi Akeni is talking to a mysterious man. K okay. Kuki King. Great leader of the Kuki Company. I have assisted Erika and her comrades as you have requested. Oh shit. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> so, so for people on the VOD, uh, Esther has just, um... Esther has just requested that I draw them something in Mario Artist Paint Studio. <laughs> um, I will get to that. Uh, in a second. Good work. Keep doing so. You must keep assisting them. First, we shall nurture Erika's talent, and then we'll add her to our ranks. I must say, it is a brilliant plan. She's unwittingly dancing in the palm of my hand. How cute is that? Mwahahaha! <laughs> Erika is steadily finding new comrades willing to walk with her to the path to stardom. But now, a dark shadow stands in her way. <laughs> Who is this kooky king? What does he really want? Before long, Erika and her friends will be involved in his evil scheme. Look, <laughs> this is serious, okay? Act 1, Birth of an Idol, Finn. Uh, okay. So it, it seems like now is a great time to uh, take a pause. Uh, where's the save state thing? There it is. Uh, uh, I might I might add random Jeopardy back in. <laughs> I'm also just gonna take a screenshot of the password just to be sure. Okay. So... Oh, oops. Let me... Let me open, uh... Mario Artist Paint Studio. <laughs> I don't, uh... Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I didn't think about this. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Esther, would you mind terribly if, uh, if... <laughs> yeah, I don't know why there was a horse there. <laughs> um. No, what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's just go extra super duper long this time. Uh, let me open up emulation and 64 project 64 DD project 64 dot exe. Um, Mario artist paint studio. Okay, Esther, what? What a. What particularly did you have in mind? You are, you are such a Project 64 hater, and I don't understand it. Draw a funny ferret? I will, I will do my best. Let's 
so, uh... <laughs> I apologize to anybody who is not familiar with my streams, um... Oh god. Uh... So, um... I... Often when I was... When, like, a game would end and, like, too early to end the stream, but I didn't know what else to do, um, I would draw something in Mario Artist Paint Studio, which, um, was a game for the Nintendo 64 disk drive add-on, which, um, was just a, was just a great, was the most well-selling peripheral of any video game ever. <laughs> um, so now, if you have a lot of points, I will draw something for you in it. <laughs> uh, okay. Drawing a funny ferret. Black, you know, just like a normal black outline for this. And ferrets are rather tube shaped. So it's like, no, that's that's not good. That's that's like a banana. Let me see if uh, really quickly. There's like a. I was not prepared for this. I'm sorry. I didn't think somebody would. <laughs> somebody would do this on the first stream. <laughs> um. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> um I can't like Hmm. There's no way to like Lock the mouse in. It's all oh there there we go. There we go. I know how I did that, but I did that. Now I can actually like draw. Ferrets are kind of like if cylinders were animals. So true. Okay, so it's like So like this, uh, and then I'm gonna draw their arms, you know, and then their feet. That's that's not good. That you know what? That's also not good. Or animal famous for being bipedal. I'm I'm drawing it like it's you know like sitting down. Uh, what was I saying? Everybody's being so mean to me. Um, what was I saying? Um, uh, God, what was I saying? I don't remember. <laughs> that's no, that's not better. You're you're really getting your bang for your buck. Re you're really getting your bang for your funny orbs here. <laughs> um, I guess I could just shoot the bullshit. Because, because Idle Hikenden is like such a like, kind of dialogue heavy game, I haven't really been able to just like shoot the shit, which, which is fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I like that. Um, but now we can take a little intermission. Um, to, to just talk. Uh... Which, which famously, famously, everybody knows that I'm really good at. Excuse me. Everybody knows that I'm just... 
fantastic at talking. Um, which is why I'm doing it right now. Um, I'm fostering such <laughs> exciting conversation. Uh, how how are I? How are you folks liking liking the game, the the Idol Hakenden game? I'm I I I'm really liking it. <laughs> it's a uh... excuse me. It's very goofy, but uh, <laughs> but very fun. Um. Oh, I still need to draw its foot. Uh. I I you know I'm glad that it's kind of like easy. <laughs> that at least so far you can just kind of click everything, and eventually you'll it'll like tell you what to do. You know. I've been finding it really cute. I was eyeing it on CD Romance a while back, but never really went for the download. Yeah, I, uh. Yeah, I was just like. Uh, it, it was like. I wanted to play some NES um, adventure game, but it was like. Well. Uh. The Portopia serial murder cases feel like too big for like the first stream comeback. Um, and then Metal Slater Glory. I tried playing Metal Slater Glory on my own. Um, and who boy. That game, that game's sound design is hostile. <laughs> um, it, it was, it's, it's, um, <laughs> Like everything you did in in that game in in Metal Slater Glory, it was like it, it would make just like this terrible high pitched beeping noise. I got like a headache like thirty minutes into playing it. Anyways, I don't know what ferrets look like. I hope this is right. I hope they have whiskers. Um. And little, little ears. Just like that, it's perfect? Okay, good. Keep on accident. Yeah, I I think after this I will definitely want to play more like um ADV games. I'm just not sure what Sorry, I'm stretching. At some point At some point I will have to play um the Portopia serial murder cases. Um so many S and Famicom games took that little sound trip and made some choices with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna like see if I can fill in the eye. The thing about Mario Artist Paint Studio is that there are no layering options, which means that uh, you're fucked. <laughs> What do you, and 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 ferrets ferrets really like like going into things. So let's make like um let's make like a very small cave that that this that this ferret is excited to, to enter. Just a little fill tool here. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. What? I forget what some of the other things are. The stamps. Yeah. This is just to save and stuff. Uh. Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, I gotta stretch again. It has only been an hour and a half somehow. <laughs> Welcome back, Star. Um, we're drawn. This is art, baby. Um, God, I missed. I missed the Mario Artist Paint Studio music so much. I miss the splurting noises. This is a... This, this truly is penis music. Oops. See, there, there's a really big shame in that, um... For some reason, this is not compatible with my tablet. <laughs> it just, it does not work with my tablet. So I, I have to do this, um, on my trackpad. <laughs> The best way to do art. Oh yeah, this, this is great. I love. Uh... I was about to say tuberculosis. That's not. That's not the gamer wrist disease. Um. <laughs> I love that the undo button is a doggy. It's really the answer. To what if an art program was just silly? Yeah. <laughs> this is. This is, like, basically a direct sequel to, um, Mario Paint. Um, the- the- all, all the Mario Artist games kind of take that, like, silly sort of attitude, but it's like- It's like Polygon Studio, which is like 3D modeling. Talent Studio, which is like- you make, like, a proto-me, you make it do weird skits, <laughs> and, then, and then there's Paint Studio. Hmm. Is there, like, a cylinder shape? There's an ellipses. Nah, it's not the same. Let's, uh, look at the character stamps. Uh, Esther, if you're still- oh shit. Wait, actually. Let's see if they've got Furret in here. It's all Kanto Pokemon, all Kanto. All Kanto. There's Ponyta. If this is just gonna be all Gen 1, I'm gonna be pissed. This came out as like the N64 was dying. Ah, oh, damn. Esther, if you're still here, what's your favorite um What's your favorite Gen 1 Pokemon? <laughs> so so I, I can put it with this ferret. Bulbasaur? Good, good choice. Strong choice. There's a... Yeah, Bul Bulbasaur is... Uh, I don't see. I don't want to. Hmm. Like here is good. Yeah. Just just to imply that like Bulbasaur is in the this little this little cave that this ferret is about to explore. Now, all we got to do is color now. My ferrets are just like brown, right? They're like brown, or they got like 
brown and more more of like an apricot sort of tummy. Is it one of those? Blue? It's they're blue? Okay, you got it. Let's see, let's see. Let's take a look at our blues. Would you like this ferret to be like sky blue? Okay. On it, boss. <laughs> You're the commissioner, I'm just the artist. Would it be easier to fill? Yeah, what? I, I will touch up this a little bit. It's, uh... Oh, this- this isn't sky blue, excuse me, this is like water texture. This- this is like a dry dry docks ferret. She's a water type, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna- I'm gonna touch up the details around the face just a little bit. looks fine. Yeah, do, do ferrets- ferrets don't have tails, right? They got like little stubby tails? They very much do? Okay, let me look this up. Oh my gosh, they do have tails. What the fuck? What? What creature was I thinking of? Do stoats not have tails? Is was I was I doing the classic blunder of confusing a ferret and a stoat? Those, those fuckers got huge tails. I I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. I didn't think they'd have tails. That's the wrong color. Okay. All right. Well, um, Esther, is are there any additional details I'm missing that are that are necessary for you as as the commissioner? Okay. Perfect. Um, I will. Uh, in the future. In the in the future, if you too would like a beautiful piece of artwork like this, um, and you have like the twelve thousand funny orbs saved up for it, um, um, go. Uh, you will have to, if 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 you are comfortable, of course. Please tell me somewhere I could DM like a screenshot of this too, so you have this picture here for you. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine. But I, I have, I have Esther's Discord, so. Uh, after the stream, I will take a screenshot of this and send it to you, Esther. Select save. Save in the Mario gallery. Save this file as new. Yeah. Want to name the file, yeah. Let's name it. Water. Tight. 
Yeah, yeah. A while back, Luna asked me to draw November for one of these. Yeah, I think um, there's a there's actually a. Uh, Okay, so that should be saved. And now, um, just just for anybody interested, I guess we can we can look at the gallery. Let's look at all my drawings. These first two, I think I just did for fun. I, I think this one I also did for fun. May I might have done this on stream? I remember doing this on stream. There's November. And there's 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 our beautiful artwork today. Great. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh god, that the put it in full screen. Do not press escape on Mario Artist Paint Studio. <laughs> uh Okay. Um Oh my god, that like ruined everything. What the fuck? Um Okay. Uh Well, thank thank you, Esther. I'm so, I'm so glad uh my my artistic talents <laughs> could be shown. Um I'm going to get back to playing the video game now. <laughs> uh I got to window capture it again. Go. Get that to the Okay. Um I think actually I'm gonna need to take a very small break. I'm I'm really sorry. It will be like two minutes. I just kinda need to get up and stretch for a second. Uh so, here's this wonderful BRB screen I've I've concocted. Let me let me get to like the title scene. There we go. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay. I am back. Thank you. Thank you for for the BRB screen. I'm sorry, Star. That's not you. That's a uh, that's famous and beloved um, character. F famous and beloved multimedia icon, um, Super Sonico. I guess it can be both. Two things can be true. Um, I'm gonna load. Okay, great, good. We're getting we're getting right back into it. There's no no gas, no brakes. Is that the thing? Idle Hakendon, Act Two, Miracle Voice, or whatever it said. Okay. <laughs> Yay! We already have a nice little group. I would like to know what our next stop is going to be. <clears throat> I'm going to work out a plan with a plan to put Erika on the market. If Hoshimi and I work together, we can buy the right stocks to fund our project. I do believe my foresight will help us in this endeavor. What am I to s what oh sorry. What am I supposed to do though? You should focus on improving your skill as a singer. I think you should go see the Queen of Enka, Karumi Miyako, who retired from the scene five years ago, and ask, and ask to be her pupil. Yay, the girls are gonna manipulate the stock market, woo! Problem is, no one knows where to find her now. Well, since everyone else is busy already, I guess I'm coming with you, Erica. Yay! Super duper awesome, Misao! According to my sources, Karumi Miyako ought to be somewhere around Kakanabe in the K-Prefecture. Let's go check it out then! Be careful out there. Okay! Wow, you're in front of Kakanabe Station. There's some dude. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people to look at now. We're not we're not in baby mode anymore. This is Act Two, fucker. Uh, let's look in the vicinity. There's a florist in front of the station. Let's look at the florists. Someone is tending the store. Okay, let's look at the madame, a senior citizen. Let's look at the mister, your typical middle-aged man. And the young man doesn't look too bright. Great. Let's talk to the- oh, um, wow, uh, CR Manko, thank you for following. I, uh, I really appreciate it, uh, florist. Excuse me, is it true that the former singer Karumi Miyako lives nearby? Sorry, I don't know her. I love this guy. This, this, this is a Shin-chan character. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a uh, uh, yeah. This is Shin Chan's dad, but he grew a mustache. <laughs> is this so true? Why are you listening by? What's that? Can my room fit a uh, yak? Yeah. What kind of question is that? True form singer from Yakko lives nearby. Why are you wasting your time with that? Don't you know that the Great King of Terror will descend upon us in 1999? Oh no! <laughs> that's a uh, that's the dude from before who told us about the ashtray. <laughs> that's um. <gasps> oh boy. Boy oh boy, I really do love um. Uh. Y2K. <laughs> there was a. There was a really interesting phenomenon where a lot of people in Japan, um, around like 1999, um, started believing in the predictions of Nostradamus, and, and like Y2K, the world's gonna end in the year 2000. It was, a, uh, you know, uh, the recession hit people hard of the, of the 90s. Uh, I can also talk to this young man. <laughs> Never mind that. 
Why don't we go to the festival together? They'll shoot fireworks at the river and all that. Did you hear that? Sound like somebody you don't know his place. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Come on. What a stubborn guy. Can I kill him? And you say I'll kill him. Did you hear that? Oh, it was just the same thing again. I don't have anything to take or use. Could I sing? Could I dance? I'm going to form an idol group and inherit a lot of wealth. Wrong. The great Lord of Shanna will descend upon us. <laughs> this is, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. This, this game is gonna do Madoka before Madoka. <laughs> Misao's gonna get her head bitten off by a monster. <laughs> um... Can I just move? Don't talk to me if you ain't interested, baby! St stubborn and arrogant. What a guy. Uh... Can I... <laughs> oh, fuck! That's why she has future sight. Oh, god. He's... Homer, uh... Right? I've, I've, I've never actually watched Madoka. It... It's not- it doesn't look for me. Hmm. Perhaps I can play dumb. Your dad's a big shot in Kanzai's Yakuza, right, Misao? Right. Get lost before I have you sleep with the fishers, pal! <laughs> the young man runs away in a panic. Fireworks, huh? Sounds lovely! Let's go see them, Misao! Alright, alright. Great. <laughs> this is the river. There's some people working hard to get the fireworks ready to shoot. Have, have fun walking dogs, Esther. Thank you for coming. Uh, they look busy. I love that the first act dumb is useful for the explicit purpose of threaten this man. <laughs> yeah. What time will you shoot the fireworks? At 8 o'clock. Right then. The workers start shouting at someone. Hey you! Hands off the fireworks! Some people driving motorcycles have started tampering with the fireworks. It looks like a biker gang. Shut it, old fart! Nobody orders us around! What are you gonna do about it, huh? You little punks! A huge fight breaks out between the biker gang and the workers. Oh god. Uh... It's a huge brawl. Um... Oh god, excuse me. Um... This isn't the time for that. Uh... Are you going to try wrestling? I wanna take... I wanna take some guy's names! Uh... Misao? Yep, that's one heck of a brawl. Great. Perhaps... Perhaps the power of song can calm them down. Alright! I'll try solving another problem with the song! All of us can get along. All of us can sing a song. Come on now, everybody. No need to be fighting. Put your hands together. We can all be friends! That, that's, that's the best singing you're getting out of me. <laughs> After listening to your song, they seem more willing to stop fighting. <laughs> Great. Okay, we still can't talk to them, though. Can we smile? <gasps> Let's all get along, okay? Smile. Literally didn't even rhyme. <laughs> this girl is lucky she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> they did say- This is Deltarune. <laughs> they did say- They did say that she has no talents aside from singing. 
She's a talented singer. Not necessarily a talented songwriter. <laughs> Taken aback by your smile, the biker gang leaves quietly. Who is, who is this green-haired person? Sorry you had to see that. I have to say, that's some voice you have. Our chief wants to thank you personally. Thanks for the help. Erica's... Oh, sorry. Erica's surprised to see the chief of the workers is a girl about her age. Right. Another another cool girl. Name's Murasaki Edagawa. And maybe only 18. When it comes to fireworks, I'm your girl. Best in Japan! Sorry if this comes out of nowhere, but I'm looking for Karumi Miyako. Do you know where she might be? Hmm. Can't say I do. Why don't you try hitting the supermarket up ahead? There's a lot of people who know many rumors. Thanks a bunch! We'll go right away! Aw, I thought she was gonna be like one of the one of the girls to join us. You're in front of the supermarket. Uh a woman and a girl are in front of the store. The supermarket has a single clerk. For a supermarket, this is a pretty small store. Look at girl. What a cute little girl. Look at lady. She's wearing a lot of makeup. Look at shopkeeper. I think he'd like you to buy something. Tip, you can go to the supermarket for gossip and quests. Thank you. I, I will use I will apply this to real life. Talk to girl. Excuse me, is it true that this former singer Kurumi Miyako lives nearby? I I don't know. Great little kid writing. Spot on. Uh but former singer? How should I know? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Excuse me. Lives nearby? I have no idea. Now, why don't you buy this tamari? It's very popular here. Oh, I like it. I'll take it. Erika has obtained a tamari. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna look it up. It's probably tamari, right? Something like that. Tamari. Oh, huh, it's like a toy. Tamari balls are a folk art form in Japanese craft, originating in China and introduced to Japan around the 7th century AD. Tamari means handball in Japanese. Balls made from embroidery may be used in handball games and as such. And, and, uh, excuse me. And other such similar games, e.g., hacky sack. An accessory similar in appearance and constructed with similar techniques and materials, with the addition of a hand strap made with either satin cord or ribbon, and a tassel can serve as an accessory for a kimono as a kimono bag. Citation needed. Okay, so it's like a it's like a little ball. Okay. Uh oops. Yeah, the the I don't know is great. <laughs> Um, let's try singing. Don't make me frown at you, Jesus. <laughs> well, look at you dancing all of a sudden like that. <laughs> um, we perhaps use the tamari on the little girl. Give it, give it to her. Okay, that would make you a thief, you know. <laughs> okay. Misao, do you have anything? Hmm. Maybe now we can talk to the- oops. Did I mean to click on the lady again? I meant to talk to the girl. No? Hmm. We just- oof? In front of Kakanabe Station. Hmm. There's the, there's the shitty dude again! Forget about that! Why don't we go have some fun? Seems to be scared of Misao. <laughs> don't push your luck, punk. Great. <laughs> Maybe... 
Go back to the river. This is a river. Hi, Murasaki. Would, would any of you like ball? Hmm. Isao, do you got any hints? Better hurry before it gets dark. Maybe use the ball here? No. Does any of their dialogue change? Oh, now then, I've just received a batch of amaryllis. Would you like some? Oh, I like it! I'll take it! For buying the flower, Erika leaves the store. That's when she notices. Oh dear! It's Kawashi Yakeni! Oh, it's you, Kawashi! Oh my, what a coincidence. By the way, did you know? There are actually 13 items in a baker's dozen. He keeps on saying that! I've written it down! <laughs> I've got it written down, even though this does not seem like the kind of game where you need to write things down. I came here because I've heard the fireworks are the best in Japan. By the way, did you know? Australia is both a continent and a country. Okay, I'm writing that down too. There's gonna be like a fucking... I love how many characters have catchphrases, yeah. Um, there's gonna, there's gonna be like a quiz. This is gonna be a Banjo-Kazooie thing. I'm gonna be asked how many things are actually in a baker's dozen, whether Australia is a continent and a country. Both a continent and a country. Sorry this comes out of nowhere, but I'm looking for Kurumi Miyako. Do you know where she might be? You should ask the old man who lives at the foot of Mount Kakanabe. He knows everything about this area. Thanks a bunch! We'll go right away! Oh no. Well, okay, sorry, that's a, that's a goat. It's not a horse. <laughs> it's different. Uh, this place looks kinda lonely. This place sure does look kinda lonely. Its face is kinda seedy, that's a mean thing to say about a goat! Uh, let's look at the shrine. Flowers have been placed in front of the statue. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It looks like, um... He looks like the imps in Chrono Trigger, which, uh, which checks out. <laughs> He's old. Very old. Nothing special about it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try talking to this goat. Bleed. I- you're- you're not- you're not getting- you're not getting- Listen, listen here, motherfuckers. You're not getting me to boss so easily. <laughs> uh, Misao, do you have anything to say? My town with computers ain't gonna be much good here. Yeah. That's, that's true. Hi, Grandpa. Excuse me, is it true that the former singer Kurumi Miyako lives nearby? What was that old young lady? Seems he can't hear very well. Hmm. We perhaps use the ball. We perhaps use the flowers. Hmm. We perhaps sing! What? Erika's sing voice echoes around her. Yeah. So now we can try talking? Hmm. Perhaps dancing. <laughs> Erika decides to convey her question to the old man by dancing. Excuse me, step. Is it true that step? The former singer, step. Kurumi Miyako, step. Lives nearby, step, step. Erika's interpretive dancing is spot on, and the old man understands her question. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> he points towards the summit of Mount Kakanabe. So she's up there, huh? Let's go, Misao. Ooh, listen to this. Some somebody's just like falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> a desolate mountain path. Uh, there's nobody to talk to. Is there anything to take? 
Let's, let's talk to Misao. Nothing to do here. Can we just... I guess we can just move up to Mount Kakanabe. I'm able to progress for some reason. Okay. Do, do we have to act dumb again? No. Singing voice echoes, but... Hmm. Hmm. I guess we can go to the village. That's just back here. I guess we have to... I guess we have to interpretive dance to the old man again? For some reason, Step, I can't move forward, Step. Do you know why? Step, Step. Erica used interpretive dancing to talk with the old man. Hmm? It's already six o'clock? I'm really flies fast. Oh boy, this one's gone senile. That's, that's so mean. He's just old, he can't hear very well. You know what? <laughs> it's very funny to call him senile for not understanding interpretive dance. <laughs> uh, can I talk to the goat? <laughs> yeah. Will this ball be of use? Will this amaryllis be of use? Just arrived. We gotta look at the shrine? The flowers in front of the statue have disappeared. Maybe the goat ate them. Let's give it some flowers. It looks so lonely without flowers. Here. Erika puts the flowers in the pots. As she does so, she notices a poster. Oh? Let's see. Warning, the area ahead is haunted by a Nurikabe ghost. Eek! So, so that was a ghost? Oh boy. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, okay. I guess we have to... Find something to be good at for ghosts, question mark? Maybe, yeah, maybe there's something good for ghosts at the supermarket. Yeah. How do you deal with a Nurikabe? Are you sure you're alright? Well... Okay, we've learned that this girl is named Mika. I like how... I like how both the lady and the little girl have not been of help to us at all. Maybe talk to the old man? Or is he also just gonna tell us about the Lord of Darkness? The Great King of Terror, excuse me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Can you hear that in the background? <laughs> My, uh, my cat is meowing, but I can't, I, I can't let her into this room because there's nails and stuff. You can't? Okay, good. I wonder if the narration is Misao this time around? A lot of the default reaction to her actions seem to have changed to a more casual tone. So maybe the narration in Act 1 was supposed to be Hoshimi? That would be really cool. That would be like a fun touch if that was true. Grandma isn't help. Oh right, we already talked to him about the great king of terror. Will florist be of help again? No. Will this dickhead be of help again? I do love me Sal. Of of the characters we've met so far, I think she's my favorite. <laughs> 
but uh, this girl is also very good. <laughs> and the lady... <laughs> the lady at the otter... The, the lady at the otter show was also very good. <laughs> she was just like, it ain't my fucking problem. Sorry, kid. <laughs> hmm. Can't say I do. Why don't you try hitting the supermarket up ahead? There's a lot of people who know many rumors. Hmm. Okay. Would you like this ball, by the way? Yeah. So I was right in thinking... Supermarket. There we go. Do you want to play with this, Mika? Erika hands the Temari to Mika. Will you play with me? My name is Mika. Do I gotta not take... Like, use? Look? Do I gotta dance? There we go. Let's sing a song while we play! <laughs> Me Sao going. That sure is a song. Okay. So now we know how to deal with the ghost. Uh Mr. Shopkeeper, do you have a broom? Oh oh no, the the florist. The the florist. Oh, okay, or we gotta Stay here a little bit. Play some more. We'll play again later, okay? <laughs> it's definitely a song that you're singing. <laughs> hmm. We gotta sing. We gotta play more? Okay. <laughs> oh shit, hi. I'm a. Uh, I hope, uh. Hello. <laughs> We're trying to deal with the ghost. <laughs> okay. That was just the same thing again. Is there anything to take? Shopkeeper didn't say anything new, right? Yeah. Lady won't say anything new. Mika just asks us to play with her more. Do I gotta look around? Pretty small store. What do I got? Oh, oh, right, I forgot to talk to Misao. Think Mika's song. Excuse me. Think Mika's song's a clue to deal with the Nurikabe thing? Now that you mention it, yes! Uh... Uh... CuddlePuppy69... <laughs> Great username. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, thank you for following, Toriel. Uh... Now that you mention it, yes! We just need a broom and we'll dust off its feet! Okay. Great. I will say that sometimes this game can be a little bit annoying, where it's like... You know the thing, but it, like... Sorry, it's hard to put into words, where it's like, you know how to do the thing, but you haven't, like, checked the correct flag to let you progress, you know? That's, that, that's just, like, a problem with, like, a lot of adventure games in general, though. Uh, let's talk to the florist, because... They said that it was sweeping around a store. Can you lend me a broom? I only have this one. I can't give it to you. Great. Um, I, can, I can just take a flower. Okay, never mind. I can't just take a flower. Perhaps if I sing at him. Okay. Perhaps if I act dumb. Hmm. Maybe at the river they have one? 
Maybe that too, yeah. Where it's like... They can only have you do it this one way, in this specific order. Oh, well if you'd love to hear me sing again, I would love to sing. Uh. Hmm. Okay, it's not at the river, it's gotta be with the florist then. Sorry, I keep on forgetting the Great King of Terror will descend upon us in 1999! Man. It's crazy that, uh... That, uh... In 1999, the Great King of Terror descended. This is wild that this game predicted the future. so mean. It's so mean to the goat. More time that passes, the funnier stuff like that gets, yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, d okay. <laughs> you put your hand in the thicket and find a broom. Okay. This is an important moment. You can't just leave? I guess we can... Do we have to talk to Misao again? No. Do we have to dance talk with the grandpa? No. Oh, we have to take the broom. The old man will scold you, but okay, can we ask for the broom? Do we have to try talking to him first while while I talk to the goat? I can't hear you. Do we have to try singing. No. Sorry, I need to stretch again. <sighs> okay, let's see. Can I take the goat? I can't take the... Hmm. Happy, yeah, happy 24th anniversary of the Great King of Terror's Descent! <laughs> hmm... I'm kinda at a loss. Oh shit. Will the mountain disappear if I dust it all off? That... that do something? Now can I take the broom? Erica picks up the broom. The old man notices this fact. Go and drive... The Nurikabe way, aren't you? Go ahead, take it. Your dance was quite funny. <laughs> it seems the old man was just teasing Erika by pretending to be deaf. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> and so Erika and Misawa headed for Mount Kakanabe. Great. Oh! Yeah! These guys are like the wall yokai. Oh, I forgot their name, but yeah, I've seen them before. Okay, let's, let's, can I look at the, okay. Talk to Misao first. Uh, okay. Erika used the broom dust off the feet of the Nurikabe. Now we can move. And must have done the trick. You move further along the path until you see a house. 
Guess Karami Miyako lives there. Wow. House. There's a house by the side of the lake. A pure, clean lake. We still have the broom. Oh god. Wow, well, this lady. <laughs> Who might you be? A woman. <laughs> Also a great sprite. <laughs> Sorry. A woman stands before you. Look at the lady. Her eyes are sharp. Let's talk. Are you Kur Kurumi Miyaka? Yes. Why do you ask? I want to be your pupil. Sorry, I don't take pupils. But what if I showed you my talents? <laughs> I see you do have some talent very well. If you can manage to turn that lake into a flower bed, I'll take you as my pupil. All right, lady. We can do that. Turn the lake into a flower bed? That's just crazy talk. Well, hmm. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> friend is very funny. Uh, would you like a broom? Can we still go inside her house? Okay. So we can... Hmm. Maybe... People... Yeah, maybe like the fireworks... I said that word weird. The fireworks will like count. Do you know how I might be able to turn a lake into a flower bed? Hmm. Not really. Sorry. Here, maybe these will cheer you up. Murasaki gives Erika some small fireworks. Thanks a lot! Erika has obtained fireworks. That's, that's that's my thought, is that you just like set the fireworks off at the lake. And she's gonna be like, oh my god, you figured out my riddle. Uh, where do I... I go to the village. And... Okay. I have to... Okay, it's not letting me... I don't know how to do this. Maybe lighting this little firework will cheer me up. Erika lights a firework. It's a lovely sight. Wow, how nice! The firework's reflection on the water almost looked like tiny flowers. That's it! Uh... Well... Uh... I would... Like... I, I, I would... I would like to get the lady's attention again. But I can't. The way I did that before was that I moved to her house, so... Do I just gotta keep on doing this? This, this can't be right. Right? Bigger fireworks gonna turn the lake into one big flower bed, don't you think? Misao, you're a genius! Let's go back to Murasaki and ask her. Alright. Going back to girl. I need to shoot the biggest firework you have! Erika explains the situation in detail. Sure, I can do that. So, where are we going to shoot it from? Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not sure myself. Yeah, we're gonna need like a boat if we want to get into like the lake bed. Hmm. Uh. What a dashing girl! So true. Uh, that's 
And not to not to toot my own penis. That's what people say about me. <laughs> there are some people working hard to get the fireworks ready to shoot. Hmm. They're busy. According to my calculations, the perfect firing spot should be halfway across Mount Kakanabe. It's going to be tricky. Cars can't go through that path, and the equipment is pretty heavy. Uh, okay. Random girl. Let me handle it. It's one of the girls from that biker gang. Oh! Uh. Can I talk to her? Woman. You're part of that biker gang from earlier, aren't you? Yep, I'm the leader, Midori. Your song really got to me, so I figured I had to apologize. Hmm, I see. I can move those fireworks. A car can't get up there, but a motocross but a motocross bike? No problem. Thanks a lot! Best in Japan! Erika leaves the firework preparations and returns to Karami's place on Mount Kakanabe. The NES is doing good enough. Sound effects job. <gasps> As the fireworks shoot up into the air, the lake reflects their light, turning it into a giant flower bed. It's a success! Wow, oh, great. Uh, hi, lady. I admit my defeat. That was very clever. As promised, I'll take you in as my pupil. And so Erika, Erika began to study under Karmi Miyako, the Queen of Enka. <laughs> After many days of harsh training, Erika finally learned everything that Karmi Miyako could teach her. Uh, well done, Erika. I have nothing more to teach you. Your song will be able to move the hearts of people from all over the world. Indeed, you have acquired the miracle voice. <laughs> Erika's singing talent has multiplied manifold in these last few days. Let me give you a warning. There's a monster lurking behind the world of show business. The Kooky King, leader of the Kooky Company. <laughs> the miracle voice. A uh, monster? Yes. That monster's goal is to transform every entertainer into one of his kookies and control them from the shadows. <laughs> Do not fall for his lies. You should have nothing to do with him. He is the dark side of the entertainment world. This is some Sim Figure shit. Sim Figure never focused this much on actually singing. <laughs> except, except, unless you're just talking about the miracle voice. Oh, um, sorry, hold on. Uh, Midori Nico, thank you for following. Uh, I appreciate it very much. I understand, Master. I'll be careful. After her training, Erika has also matured as a person. Murasaki, Midori, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to gain the miracle voice. Thank you. You don't mind me asking, would you like to join our team? Would I? You've all, you, all of your gunpowder needs to me. I'm in too. I can handle any bike, and I'm great in a fight. Just so you know, I'm a black belt in karate. After finding two new comrades, Erika returned to Tokyo, where Yashio and the others were waiting for her or them. I didn't see. <gasps> I just love the smell of gunpowder. That was a lot of work. Time for a cigarette break. Ah! Midori, don't like that! <laughs> Great. Um, hold on. Wait. Uh... I'm a. I think um. I was planning to go for a little longer, but I'm I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> With the miracle voice, you can now cast Zeta Flare. <laughs> um. Uh, what should I? Yeah, I'm I'm tired. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, play anymore. Um, so, uh, thank you, everybody, 
Uh, thank you everybody who followed and came uh, to this stream. I I'm really I'm re I'm really pleased with myself, and I'm glad that people could be here. Uh, I really like this game. <laughs> this game's a lot of fun. Um, nice. Um, yeah, I I I hope everybody here also enjoyed it. Um, I I think I'm gonna be leaving now. Um, I will be back Friday. Friday at at the same time. Uh. Starting 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Nice. Thank you, Star. Um, uh, um, <laughs> nice. Thank you, Midori Nico. Um, yeah. Um, I hold on. Well, hold on. Hold on just a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I will be back Friday uh, at the same time, 1 p.m. MST. Um, uh, playing uh, Jet Set Radio. <laughs> that should be fun. And then next Tuesday, um, unless something gets in the way, I'm going to be back with more of this. Uh, hopefully I can play for a little bit longer. Um, I think some of the some of the nerves tuckered me out a little bit faster than I would have liked. But oh well. Uh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> um, th th thank you. Uh, um, but before before I go, before I go, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you all um, uh, to to my friend Lena, um, with a raid. I don't know how raiding works. Um, uh, she's playing. Uh, it seems like some sort of randomizer of Pokemon Blue, and also Hollow Knight. <laughs> that that seems fun. Um. I don't I I think I got I think I got a raid first and then I stopped streaming. I don't know how this works. Goodbye. Uh is Yeah, there's like a button to raid. It's okay, it's apparently going in uh 75 seconds. <laughs> um Hit the button to end the stream. Well, I'm on my phone, so give me a second. Is there like a button in chat that's that's popping up? Okay, yeah, yeah. Nine viewers ready to rate to okay, Nikolita yeah, in... Yeah. Nine five seconds. Ready that's weird that on my phone it shows. Five no, okay, it's, that's it's good to that rate now. Phone, it shows it's weird that no, okay, my phone it's good to rate shows now. that I have to wait it's 30 that, more seconds okay, when it's good to rate now. Okay, so I will go now. Goodbye. Um, I will thank you all for coming. Um, I really hope you have. Thank you all for coming. Um, I really hope you have. Thank you all. Then mute the stream. What? Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna... I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna... Okay.